Hello everyone, this is Hidden Numismatist back at you with another video. I uh, completed this Morgan Dollar album not too long ago, the 1878 to 1890. This is the first volume of two from Dansko Corporation. Um, this is 7178 and I completed this uh, not too long ago. And so I wanted to show you the progression that I made the, on this set and also show you in these date ranges from 78 to 1890 the ones that I have that are slabbed for Morgan dollars so um, I'm very proud of myself and amazed that I was uh, I stuck to my guns and was very had a lot of perseverance to finish this so let's get started Unfortunately, um, Dansko doesn't include, there are many, there are about three varieties in the 1878. Eight tail feathers, seven tail feathers, and seven over eight tail feathers. Uh, but that doesn't include these in this Dansko. I have those major varieties. Uh, in my two by two uh, storage box for U.S. coins, but I didn't want to drag those out. Uh, there are a lot of key dates and semi keys to this series. Of course, the Carson cities out in Nevada are very desirable. There's also a lot of other keys. But I was able to finish this set not too long ago. Now, my goal is to eventually be able to do all of these in both volumes as close to MS-60 as possible. And many people would say, well, that's that's going to be near impossible unless you have an unlimited budget. And uh, you are correct. Uh, but as I said, most of these are UNC, AU extremely fine and I was able to complete this set not too long ago I'll show you the reverses as well Morgan Dollar series a very captivating series that is very very popular among numismatists that collect United States coins and um I truly love the Morgan Dollars with all my heart. I love the original toning on this one. All of them are 90% silver. What makes this set so challenging is the how many mints literally struck the coins. We have Philadelphia, San Francisco, New Orleans, Carson City, Denver. I think that's about it. Philadelphia, San Francisco, New Orleans, Carson City. Denver. And uh, this is a set. That, there's a beautiful Carson City. Look at that. And that's an unk right there. And uh, many people are trying to do this set uh, from Dansko, and it's uh, it takes a very, very long time. Beautiful 81cc. And um, I have been working on this for many years. Um, and this is something that doesn't just happen overnight, unfortunately. Uh, but... I did finish it. There's a beautiful 82cc. 82O. 82S. And like I said, most of these are unk. And if I'm able to get all of these in unk, which will never happen, it certainly won't happen in my lifetime. So... 
Uh, I just, I love these coins. They're they're so beautiful. I have to show this one again. The eighty one S. I sure hope the camera is picking up the beautiful original toning and luster. And this one as well, the eighty one O. Let's look at the reverses, shall we? Um, I have many dealer friends that have my that have my want list of coins that I need. And uh, the last two that I needed, I needed one for this album, and the second dance go I also completed. Um, so it's been about a month, month and a half um, that I was able to complete all volumes. But this video will be only the first volume from Dance Go. Beautiful Carson City. A little original Tony. Another Carson City. Another original. I like the peripheral right around the rim that you see that beautiful, delicious Tony. And there are many Vams, Van Allen Malice varieties in the Morgan Dollar series. And I'm very happy that uh, Dansko doesn't include <laughs> uh, those because that would make the set damn near impossible. The 84cc does need to be upgraded because uh, I think somebody took a bullet to her sweet face there and damaged that. Some of these uh, I have that in GSA, GSA Carson Cities. Um, I think I have almost all of them if i remember in the gsa ccs but i didn't uh drag those out because i wasn't thinking ahead <laughs> i maybe do my gsa morgans in a separate video and if you're interested those of you that are interested in seeing those let me know in the comment section below and i'll make a separate video for my gsa's look at that 85 cc in unk 60-61 minimum. 85-O. 85-S. Philadelphia. New Orleans. And like I said, this what what makes the set so difficult to do is, for many years... Almost all the mints struck their own for that year. So, like, for example, in 1885, real quickly here, folks, you have Philadelphia, Carson City, New Orleans, San Francisco. Boom. I mean, good Lord. I mean, that's, that's that what makes it, you know, if so many mints weren't involved, and producing this beautiful coin, it'd be much easier for a heck of a lot more people. But this takes time and commitment and being patient. One thing that I can advise in this hobby is you take your time. Because if you wait and you take your time, the right coin will come to you. Look at that unk. So it's a high XF, maybe AU, probably XF, I would say. Um, you have to be patient. Patience is very, you have a lot of patience in this hobby. I like what one dealer said when I was first starting out many, many years ago is, um, if you have patience, the right coin will come to you at the right price. So... It's very important that you be patient. And if the coin's not right and you see it in an auction, what have you, and you use your gut instinct and says, mm, it's a nice coin, but such and such reasons, I don't think I'm ready. And you have to trust your gut instinct. 
to the last page. Eighty seven is eighteen eighty eight plain, beautiful coin. New Orleans. That one saw some kind of original album, some kind of tape or residue, if you can see. It has like a crescent moon design. I don't, it's okay. I'm, it's a beautiful lady, uh, but eventually I would like to upgrade that one. 89 plane, beautiful onk again. Here's another Carson City. New Orleans. San Francisco, beautiful Philadelphia. Another car, this needs to be upgraded. That was cleaned long ago, but that's not original. We know that. Nice original 90 O. 1890S, okay, beautiful. Look at the reverses of these beautiful coins. And we'll switch over the slabs for this date range. Yeah, Morgan dollars are highly collectible, very desirable. And since they started doing the commemoratives for Morgans and Peas, these, these coins have picked up in demand, look at that beautiful album, Tony, have picked up in demand and um, are making the original ones, these coins, much more desirable. There's a lot of collector demand. Look at that unk. Carson City. Nice original unk. And then the last one. So, anyway. All right, brothers and sisters. This is the, like I said, this is the date range 78 to 90. Um, and there's the informational page. I'm sure that many of you are aware of this. I wanted to show you uh, the ones, like I said, from... 1878 to 1890, the ones that I have slapped in this date range. And some of these will include the beautiful Vams. But many of them are just a straight, you know, no Vam or anything. 1880S, MS-62. Beautiful toning. Original. Love the cartwheel toning on these large, beautiful dollars from our country. Beautiful coin. I mean, it's just... Your mouth waters over them. It's the same thing, but a 64. And you can see the difference. As we go up the Sheldon scale from 62 to 64, you can now see it's almost developing proof-like. Semi-proof-like. And that's for educational reasons, for my own reference. Um... I'm not selling the 62 or the 64 from the ADS out of San Francisco because it just shows people, you know, uh, the beauty on how, how two different grades, two differences in grade can make a difference. 81S, 66. Love this coin. Beautiful. I hope my thumb is not in the way. Big fat thumb. I think I got this not too long ago. It's a long series. Uh, the Morgans are no joke. Uh, here's a proof like. 61. I mean, this is... Yes, you see proof like, but... It's barely there, but it is a proof like. So as I was saying, I mean, the Morgans is no joke. If if you want to 
tackle this series, you're going to have to have a lot of patience. And like I said, don't jump the gun and overpay. Because, oh man, it's going to fill a slot. But if it doesn't feel right to you because it was clean, dipped, or whiz, or it's, or it's going for stupid money, don't do it. Because it is a purchase you will regret down the road, and you'll have to sit on it a lot longer when it comes to time to sell. And you'll be kicking yourself. Here's a 62. Which one's better, PCGS or NGC? I've had collector friends ask me that before. I've talked to local dealers. And uh, at major shows, as like Whitman and what have you, state shows. And they say for Morgans, maybe PCGS. I think they're a little bit slightly ahead. But that's a matter of opinion. I mean, t take my opinion with a grain of salt. Here's another proof light. Again, you see the proof light. It's a little bit better than the previous one that I showed you. New Orleans. 61 proof light. Beautiful coin. And um, many people have also asked me, Hey man, I'm looking at this coin here and it's a 61 or 62. Many people say... It could, if I crack it out and send it in, it could get a higher grade. What should I do? You, you think I should crack it out and send it in? I wouldn't. If it's in an NGC or PCGS holder, I like what one dealer said. Playing out, playing the crack out game and resubmitting is very risky. There's no guarantee that if it's a 62, that's going to come back as a 62. And if that sucker comes back as a 61, and it was originally a 62, and the spread on the gray sheet from a 61 to a 62, 63 is like $200, you just screwed yourself. So playing the crack out game is very, very dangerous. I don't do it. I personally, here's an Anex. It's the oldest third-party company, ANAX, NGC, and PCGS. And the rest, in my opinion, are basement slab companies, as they say. But this is a beautiful 63. Love that one. Almost done. Here's a VAM, folks. Bam, 22A, double diolvers, pit or reverse, 61. It's at top 100. So among all the VAMs, this is in the top 100, the 22A, in an MS-61. Beautiful coin. I'll do my Carson GSAs. In a different video. I should have pulled those out, but I was anxious and excited to <laughs> do this video since, as I said, I finished this Dansko album. So the kid in me was wanting to get the video out. So here is beautiful original Tony on the peripheral again. Bag marks are so common on these because as they came out of the Striking chamber, they fell literally into a canvas bag. And these being so large, beautiful coins, they have dings in the fields is very unfortunate. Here's an overdate, 1887, over six. MS-63, beautiful coin. I'm sorry that I'm not able to pick up for you folks the overdate very well, but it's there. But trust me, it's there. When I got it in hand, I checked it, and, and it's PCGS. I mean, we all know that PCGS aren't idiots. They know what they're doing. 
And next to the last, 1888-61. Beautiful coin. And if you give me a few days, I'll do the second dance go, along with corresponding slabs from the last few years. Beautiful Morgan. Anyway, well, like I said, folks, this is uh, the date range of 78 to 90. And this dance go is done. Along, uh, like I said, I'm going to do the upgrades when I can. If my budget allows. Um, being able to do this is very rewarding. It feels very good. I'm sure many of you would agree that uh, when you finish an album, um, it's it's very satisfying. So, feeling the tumor on the 82, 81.0. Oh, anyway, I showed you all these, but they're just they're just they're delicious silver coins, just mouth watering. So, all right, my brothers and sisters, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, what have you. Uh, leave them in the comment section below. Tell me what you think. If you have any suggestions on what I can do, uh, potentially to upgrade the ones that are clearly circulated in this set, let me know. I'm ready for your thoughts and suggestions. Well, you all have a wonderful, uh, wonderful evening. Be kind to each other. God bless. Bye-bye.